I got a compressor to change out. What do we got here, Mike Nazis? Yep. I got a compressor to change out. Um, I got getting a late start. We were up the coast. Uh, stay tuned at the end of the video. I got a new song out and I'm gonna show you some surf videos. We were up the coast, the swell's big today. And uh, I got some clips of that. We're gonna get into, it's a, it's a two door, four Celsius box, which four Celsius is just medium temp, you know, like 38 degree box. It's older box. I think it, it looks like you had a compressor put in in 2014. And uh, I didn't put that one in, somebody else did, but they want us to do it again. And uh, it's a place that runs, uh, it's kind of like a scientific uh, environment. Nothing special to it. And uh, let's see if we can get this compressor changed out and try and figure out why the valves died on its low capacity. And we'll see. I'm pretty sure it has a small expansion valve on this one. So let's go take a look. Geared up. I'm waiting for my customer to show up to let me in. That torch rig, recovery machine. Recovery tank, vacuum pump, extension cord, gauges, compressor, dryer. Uh, just to get us started and going here. Oh, my ladder. I got my ladder right here. Uh, so that's just some of the stuff to get started. We're going to have to recover that charge first. And then uh, rip that old compressor out. I'm working with right here in the back. I got to get all the screws out and get this cover off and then the compressor is going to be right back here. Really easy to work on. There is a condensate loop. And let's see, we can start cap down there. Basic stuff. So I'm looking up the gauges here for a recovery. That old compressor uh, was low capacity so it's running about an 80 pound suction for 134A. Which I'd have to look on the gauge. What would that evaporator be? About a 76 degree evaporator. So the valves inside of that compressor had failed. Condenser's clean. I don't know if you guys have ever seen relays like this before. Little flat style relays, coil voltage, and then your set of contacts. You'll see that on some of the scientific equipment. There's the van outside there. It's a nice little workplace today. Uh, this is a Puffer Hubbard. Uh, let me get an Allen wrench in there. Open up that valve. That's my suction service valve right there. All right. All right. I got the nerd powered up. We're going to put it in recovery mode. We're going to hit start here. Twenty ounces of 134A. Had to film my recovery this time because uh, Rick was trying to go YouTube police on my ass on my last video. He's breaking balls as fast as he can. YouTube police. YouTube police. They're gonna get you and they're gonna get me. That go down. Look at that. Are you, are you guys watching this? That's the nerd, man. The Navac nerd. It's gonna be like a like a three minute recovery. Yeah, that's that's ridiculously fast. 
love these things on these small unit, smaller units. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out. Um, and just cut all the fittings out of it and we'll get her cut out. And uh, I'm going to cut that dryer out too. This thing's hotter, hotter than a pistol. Um, it got plugged back in after we diagnosed it, so it had sat here running and not doing anything until I unplugged it this morning. With our dead stuff removed. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it smells partially burned out. It does not smell good at all. Uh, I got to so solder these up and then this is our replacement you can see the body styles changed again already and we got new starting components um, okay, I said in my other video I'll say it again for all you new guys your old compressor once you got it out first thing you do pinch off the ends raise them up that way you cannot spill the oil out of that compressor if you tip it over or whatever. Here's the new compressor. They had ran the suction line over to the process port, um, which is also a suction port. But this is the actual suction port. If you want to get the cooling correctly. That's how I was always taught. I could be wrong. I'm going to have that suction line. I'm going to cut it back here. I'll have it come in here properly. It's a bigger port, you can see. This is the discharge. And this is my suction access port. So I like to call it auxiliary port. I don't know if that, it, if that had anything to do with the short lifespan of the last one, but that's what I'm going to do on this one. A little repiper. Um, you have to ream your pipes when you cut them. Look how small that opening is. See that? All these. This is going to be my discharge right here. You have to, you have to get the reamer and ream these, or they're just choked off. Well, that's getting cut back, so it doesn't matter. But where the dryer goes, everything. Pretty steady. Coming in the high side, and then we're pissing out the low side right here. Now I can. Raise up all my fittings. Let's get her bruised up. After I get it all brazed up, pressure tested, then we'll tidy up all the wiring and stuff. I'm gonna get set up for put to pull a vacuum now. Quarter by three eighths vacuum hose, quarter by three eighths vacuum hose with the suction service valve into the field piece. Let's get her going. Get the ballast open a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and close her up and let her rip. Thousand microns are dropping. Seven seventy-five coming down the mountain. Uh, I got the Testo Smart Probe in there checking my supply air temp. Uh, returns up the front and supplies down the back. Is on the scientific boxes. Um, your temperature cabinet sensor will be in a solution so it's actually checking product temp so we're 15 celsius for the product temp it had started at 18 and you'll see that my supply air temp coming out of the back of the coil is 33 degrees just something to remember you won't see that drop as fast as you're used to seeing like a regular reach-in drop 
you'll see the air temp drop fast on a regular reach in box. It, it's dropping fast in there, it's just not reading fast because it's actually checking uh, product temperature. Just a heads up. I didn't get a ton of video on this one, but check it out. I'm gonna play my new song at the end of the turtle with some surf video footage. I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> 